Now, Jane, before you get all wound up about me spending time with some castaway girl, let me just say, you got nothing to worry about on that score. It's more like when your folks used to make us take your know-it-all kid sister along with us everywhere. You know, a real pain in the ass. She just washed up on my beach, and boy, does it show. Doubt the girl would last half a day on this island if I wasn't here to babysit her. She's too damn soft. The very first time I saw her, she kept me from catching some squab for dinner. And suddenly I've got some brat lecturing me about how her precious new pet's the last of its kind. Wants me to take her seriously, like she's some kind of expert. All she has to do is look around. I mean, those fat little birds are all over the place here. I haven't even told you the nuttiest part. How she claims to be from the future? At least she says the good guys won. Which means you stayed safe and sound stateside. Either way, I thought I'd better show the girl what we're dealing with here. Man-eating monsters, floating sky things, the whole nine yards. But maybe I shouldn't have rushed her. She's been just staring at all of it. Long enough for me to take her picture and write you this note. But don't worry. I promise I won't let her slow me down too much. Nothing's keeping me from getting back to your home cooking. Save me some, baby. Bob. Dear Jane, you're probably not going to be seeing me around the 4th of July picnic after all. Sure wish I'd gotten around to writing before now, because I doubt there's mail service home from wherever it is I found myself. Some tropical island in God knows where. That's not me trying to keep secrets. I figure you must have heard by now that I never made it ashore in Normandy 